Baltimore Ravens vs. Denver Broncos, score, grades and analysis vertical bracket Leacher Report. Back to Login. Sign up. Leacher Report. Home. NFL. CFP. MLP. NBA. NHL. CPP. Soccer. Of With. Golf. More. Swagger. Video. Blogs. My teams. Edit favorites. NFL. Home. Teams. Blogs. NFL Draft 2013. Archives. Top writers. Shop. Newsletter. AFC. AFC East. AFC North. AFC South. AFC West. NFC. NFC East. NFC North. NFC South. NFC West. NFL. Want more real-time NFL news? Visit team stream in bleacherreport.com. Baltimore Ravens vs. Denver Broncos. Score, grades and analysis. By Tyler Conway, featured columnist, in September 6, 2014. 126K reads. 53. Share tweet. Suffice it to say, Peter Manning had no interest in helping the Baltimore Ravens celebrate their Super Bowl's Eye victory Thursday night. The Denver Broncos quarterback matched an NFL record with seven touchdown passes in the team's season opening 49-27 win over Baltimore at Sports Authority Field. In an evening usually reserved for reverberating celebration before a Super Bowl champion's home crowd, it was Manning who helped lead his Broncos to the most points ever scored by a Ravens opponent. Baltimore Ravens vs. Denver Broncos Q1 Q2 Q3 Q4 Top. Baltimore 7 10 0 10 24. Denver 0 14 21 14 49. Denver was able to start its season in a high note despite a slow start and a lengthy weather delay. The season opening bonanza was delayed by 34 minutes due to lightning in the area. Essen Stats and Info noted an eerie coincidence about the delay. The 34 minute weather delay in the Ravens game is the same length of the delay in last season's Super Bowl Essen Stats and Info at ESTNSTATSINFO September 6, 2014. But the story of the night was Manning who torched the Ravens' secondary for 462 yards and those seven scores in 27 of 42 passing. The win was Manning's 10th in his past 11 games against Baltimore, the only exception being that fateful loss in January. The seven touchdowns also set a career high and made him the only quarterback in league history with three outings with six-plus touchdowns. And he did it all without committing a single pick. Peyton Manning is just the second player ever to throw for 7 TD in a game without an interception. Why, a title, 1962. Sports Center at S.P.O.R.T.S.C.E.N.T.E.R. September 6, 2014. In his second season in Denver, Manning is quickly continuing his reputation as a superstar maker. The 37-year-old signal caller showed a particularly keen interest in tight end Julius Thomas, who was the team's top pass catcher in the first half before finishing with 110 yards on five catches. Thomas was a handful for a struggling Ravens secondary, using his combination size and speed to break big plays in his first NFL start. Demarius Thomas had a massive output as well breaking out out for a 161-yard, two-touchdown game on only five catches. Included in those scores was a 78-yard scamper that helped Manning tie the all-time record. Not to be outdone, Wes Welker also made his impression loud and clear in his first game with the Broncos. The former New England Patriot didn't miss a beat with his transition from Tom Brady to Manning making nine catches for 67 yards out of the slot, including two second-half touchdowns. Manning hit Welker in successive drives in the third quarter for scores, extending the Broncos' one-score lead all the way to 35-17. The first touchdown to Welker